Hey folks, this is the deputy. Today Tex has asked me to look over an old police film with you guys. All three of you who are still around, strap in for the long haul. It's 24 minutes long and it gets geriatrically slow. This is your police department. Well, I will defend according to the state of Michigan, but who's keeping track? Today there are no walled cities, but the word to Abor is still a living word for the guardians of your city. The men yeah, 1903 Springfields. Those are good rifles. Here are men experienced in every phase of police work. Nope, he was off step. He had to hop. Men who are proud of their heritage. Seen marching bands with better rank and file. Police Department, to Abor has deep significance. For 365 days a year. So if the entire police department's at this parade, who's actually out there on patrol? The city of Detroit, working together as a team for the protection of the lives and property of the people of Detroit. Get on step. This is the story behind these men and the organization that produces them. Meanwhile, the at the Hall of Justice, the story is the selection of the men who are chosen to become members of the department and the methods by which they are trained. Take Joe, for example. He came, as many of the recruits do, from a small town in Michigan. Joe was looking for a way to beat people, but not get arrested for it. Both to himself and to the community in which he worked. Here at police headquarters, Joe and other applicants... Yeah, MEPS is always the worst part. And mental ability. Or an officer must be alert, both this will be cold, I don't care. His body Get out of here. Must be a coordinated team. The police and department hop. investigated his background. His school record, Push up. his home environment, his personal habits. Every and another one. made to select the finest men. Joe, along with other recruits, was accepted and assigned as a cadet to the police academy for six weeks or more of study and lectures on departmental rules If you call for the police, you really hope for the ones that could do it in six weeks and not the ones that needed and more to graduate. He learned to use all types of firearms. Bending your elbows for girls. Marksmanship might someday mean... Remember, you have all the time in the world. He's only killing children. Oh, a cervical fucking what? Just grab his neck. Injury. He'll be fine. Knowledge that often means uh. the difference between life and death for an injured person. In okay, practice, stand there. Menace. Menace. A group of men working as one Too much menace. Creep forward. Good. Alright, that's two good reps. Joe with other cadets found how modern scientific crime detection speeds the work of every department. This is the wire spoolograph. The machine watching is a spectrograph. One of the newest close. and most useful pieces of equipment in the laboratory. On this machine, any substance of unknown origin, such as a strand of hair or a piece of wire, can be compared with any known and substance. And you slide it in here. And its identity established. The result is a And now we know who killed the hooker. Crimes and presenting court evidence. Some of the police academy work was fun, like the day Joe volunteered to be a guinea pig for a polygraph or lie detector test. Now Joe thought he could fool the machine. You can. But when the machine showed he was lying, just for fun of course, he readily admitted that the polygraph had outsmarted him. Now that's not hard, Joe's pretty dumb. Then came that great day when Joe first put on his new uniform. Now a graduate of the police academy, he was assigned on probation to a precinct station for six months. What no did Joe have against tailored uniforms? Right to wear that uniform permanently. He walks he like Don Knotts. Officer Joe. Yeah, don't let the power go to your head. His dream was a scout car of his own, but he didn't mind being. You smell like shit, kid. Get in the back. Work. It led him into strange places. Led him behind the scenes to learn the real purpose of police work. 
As he took part in drunkometer tests, for example, drunkometer began to feel that he My God, there's a name we should have never changed. Of Detroit's campaign to cut down on well, the drunkometer says that you're eighty percent alcohol. How are you even alive? <laughs> it actually says it too. Prevention, whenever possible. Prevention of accidents and prevention of crime. Let me just get my fingerprints all over this. Yeah, here's the bullets he shot him with, too. I'm sure that was really handy before I touched it. When a crime has already been committed. It's rolling deep with cats in this neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? And using all the modern scientific police methods, trace and prove the guilt of the person or persons responsible. I do like how you can clearly see where that was just one bullet cut in half. Sometimes Joe was sent out for duty at school crossing. Experienced officers of the police department's youth bureau worked with the schools, teaching traffic laws and laws of courtesy to our youth of Detroit. To All right, remember, you've got to shield them with your body. By taking part of the responsibility today. Okay, now you're the best hall monitor. Little by little. Joe learned the insight, patience, and tact a police officer needs to carry on his work. He was learning fast. Each day before an officer begins his... Do you ever notice that in any group of cops, Joe's the, the one whose uniform looks on worse? This review ensures prompt action on missing persons, stolen cars... Left and shoe cut away. ...investigation by the police department. Joe spent some of his time on duty checking car licenses. He looks lost. Training his eyes to observe, and his mind to remember descriptions of persons wanted. If I were just a citizen, I'd stop him and ask him if he was okay. Oh, it wasn't an important arrest. Yeah, Joe we gotta go shake <laughs> all the, the hobos. For the first time, he felt as though he really was a police officer. And somehow his uniform... Seem to fit better. Yeah, no it doesn't. The police department thought so too. At the end of six months probation, Joe received his certificate confirming him as a patrolman. Not for the one arrest he made. But because, but because he hadn't really in the fucked probation up. probation period, he had proved himself to be alert, willing to take orders and carry them out, and firm but And especially that last in one. his contacts with the public. As a patrolman, Joe began to understand the real significance of police work. The steady workaday jobs, such as checking houses where occupants are on vacation and have left an open invitation to housebreakers. It was his job to prevent crime whenever possible. Let me just recycle while, these for you. He found him. himself working with the younger generation on his beat. Youngsters who have a yen to find out what the younger generation. He looks sixteen. Like. He is the and younger generation. Big and confusing when mother isn't there. Not gonna investigate that car accident yes, in the background. Joe got to know his area pretty thoroughly. Even no, no, he's not. A hero, there were plenty of other compensations. Of course, there were dozens of times when he had to do things that weren't pleasant, like giving a ticket to someone parked willfully in a no parking zone. But and I'll just leave this here where you'll never find it. Job. And then a warrant will be issued because you couldn't see the ticket from the driver's side. It was a long time in coming, but he was finally assigned to a two-way radio car. car oh, God. Eight. Two ways? It meant I prefer one-way radio where my boss just yells three. at me. He met the man who was to be his partner, an experienced patrolman from whom he could learn a great deal. Car 88... Was a part of a I do like the air raid siren look. I think we should go back to that for police departments. Every hour of the day and night. Here's how the system works. The city of Detroit is divided into police precincts. God, Each Detroit was ever that is small? Into scout car territories. The number depending upon the size of the precinct and the amount of activity in that precinct. The two men who transmit orders to scout cars the radio dispatcher dispatchers and the dispatch clerk are always veterans of many years experience in police work well that's they not so true anymore in a few seconds what course of action should be taken on a call ah excellent they must know every even back then cars your supervisor could micromanage you joe seldom saw those men but their voices 
became a part of his life. Let me just drive as slowly as I can in the opposite lane of traffic. Mark Twain. Family trouble. Ooh, domestic. Hurry, the car phone says we must go. I need to finish polishing that car. There's a lot of buff marks in it. About 20% of the calls that come into the station are family trouble. And this was Joe's first call. He's been a cop for six months and he hasn't dealt with family trouble? Some frail little woman whose husband was mistreating her. Isn't this the same house that had all the newspapers on the porch? But in this case, Joe was told by a ruffled lady of the house to mind his own business. If she and her husband wanted to throw things at each other, that was their business. Uh, As that's if went by, Joe began to feel it depends on local statue of a scout car patrol. He learned job well done. We got told to fuck off. It was like keeping his fingers on the pulse of a gigantic heartbeat. This little part of the My city God, that's a that giant his job pencil behind your ear. Well, Joe fuck you too. And his scout car partner worked as a close team for each other's protection. For they never knew when an assignment, no matter how it sounded, would turn into something vicious. And yeah, I know you just polished this car. I'm gonna rub my buttons on my pants pocket all over it. And eight eight. 2136 West Forest at the payroll office. Hold up in progress. Trouble at the payroll office? It's time for the shotguns, boy -o. Yeah, you use your siren straight up to the front door so they know you're coming in that way. You don't actually do that. That'll get you killed. I haven't actually watched this far. If Joe gets killed, I'm gonna laugh. God, nobody grabbed the long guns. If I'm having a gunfight, I want something longer than a pistol. Gotta go back out to the car. In emergencies like this, all those months of training and experience... You talk to the old guys and what they do on traffic stops is they'd lean the microphone out the window and have it laying over the windowsill so they didn't have to get back in if they had to make a uh, very quick call. Jesus, all eight sergeants? An officer shot. Wagon on the way. Nah, nah, he's fine. He's walking. Rub some dirt in it. He'll be back on his feet. They're not gonna let one of Detroit's finest go That's in their own Joe propaganda Trump. film. His own partner wounded in line of duty. Sooner or later, it always happens to some friend in the department. Yeah, and it's Joe Joe's fault. Now, why policemen were considered bad insurance risks. He was thinking of his partner's family. And of his own family. It's okay, Joe. Now you've got two wives. Joe, as to his partner and all patrolmen, it meant a great deal to know that the police department would see that they and their families were taken care of in the event. There's no safety net for wounded officers. The department will not take care of you. He was asked to take part in the police field day, which is held each year to raise funds to supplement the insurance of policemen. When field day arrives, as many officers as can be relieved from duty donate their time and services to make it a day all Detroit. Holy shit, they answered my question. Who paid for all that, though? Detroit citizens, Does the amount of money they raise so that people can see their police department offset the cost of all of that? Deputy over here asking you the real questions. Those uniforms are hot, they suck. Sword so Swords are a nice touch. I'd, I'd wear a sword on duty. Pistol on the left side, sword on the right. Sometimes you just gotta run a saber through a rapscallion to get your point across.
the old 48 star flag. Peak Americana, in my opinion. On field day, the department invites all Detroit to share in honoring its heroes. Ordinary police officers who, during their workaday routine, met the challenge of their jobs above and beyond the call of duty. The way that he holds his arms disturbs me. It's like Magilla Gorilla. Yeah, don't get too chuffed with yourself, Joe. You're still a rookie. Just because your partner caught a bullet doesn't mean you learned anything. The old motor core could have been cool, doing the 30s and 40s Harley Davidson motorcycle thing. Is that a police band? Are they all retired, or is that all they do? These are the guardians of your city. Men who work together 365 days. Men who really can't march very well. Work together as an integrated team for the protection of life and property. You know what I just realized? I think that's Vincent fucking Price. How did they rope him into this? He can't march either. Jesus, they need remedial marching training. They're doing pretty good. So are they. It's the arm swing. You can pick up the arm swing really, really easy. If you look at big groups of people marching, sometimes you'll see one of them hop, and that's them changing their step because they got off. But a battalion of men in plain clothes marches in review. Proud representatives of the detective bureau. Oh, Jesus. They couldn't even put the detectives in uniform. see some of Detroit police women. Officers of the law from the women's division. Or them. Loyal like their brother officers. The this is post-war, right? Labor, it has to be. Yeah, this is post-war. This is like 50s, mid-50s. They had uniformed female officers by then. Ah, the long night sticks. When you hear that term, they're talking about long riot sticks like that. The day stick was the shorter one that you see, like Keystone Cop stuff. And everyone gets a kick out of watching the expert driving of a platoon from the motorcycle traffic bureau. A platoon. Have a platoon of motorcycle cops. That would be rather interesting. They're all wearing like civil defense helmets though. Remember, this flap helps you break your neck for quicker death in the event of an accident. Combination cars? Yeah. And here come the clowns. One of the well, of course there had to be clowns. It's the Detroit clowns Police Department. Professionals, but present or retired members of the Detroit Police Department who incidentally spend many hours preparing and presenting the shows. Oh, I'm sure they did. The every hour of it on duty. Children every year. <laughs> Who's the boxer? That is a man in drag. Since police officers must be in excellent physical condition to perform their rigorous duties, competition... This is starting to look more and more expensive. But the Detroit police teams have won a majority of these national and international field day meets. Probably because they're the only department that puts them on. I don't have to run fast when I can shoot people in the back. At least at this era, it was still legal, if beginning to become frowned upon. The tug of war has been a featured contest between the Toronto Police and Detroit Police Department since the first field day back in 1927. Man. I hope they... I don't know what I was going to say there. I lost my thought. I apologize, guys.
This is truly thrilling stuff. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I think Detroit's about to lose. Now, they couldn't let Detroit lose in their own propaganda film. In recent years, so you put the fat kid on the end. Like this, call him the anchor and make him feel important. Yeah, I know how that goes. I was the fat kid. Alright, Joe, remember, bending your elbows for girls. Field Day features an exhibition by the Detroit Police World Championship Pistol Team. Expert marksmanship by the men of your police department. So they're shooting at 25. It's not terrible. It's certainly not exactly practical marksmanship anymore. At least not for officer-involved shootings. Which tend to be very, very quick. Gunfights are violent, and they are sudden. But, what do I know? A new and striking field day event is this close order drill. Two platoons of men from the Detroit Police Academy, most of them Army veterans, following commands with yeah. military precision. Well, that explains why they can march. So what good does this actually do anybody? These guys practiced on the clock, I assume. He said they're all from the academy, so this took away from the six weeks, which is barely enough to learn how to put the uniform together. That is a frighteningly short time to be in the academy. Ah, yes, polo! Like the exhibition drill of the mountain division. Now, well, maybe still polo. Here's striking pictorial evidence of skill, training, painstaking practice, and excellent horsemanship. Yeah, you don't screw around with police horses. They are very, very serious about what they do. And what they do is very niche. It's fallen out of favor with most everybody for a reason. But they're an interesting tool. Pivot! 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 If you make the horses dizzy, they throw up. These are the men who protect your recreational areas and public parks. Who control important... I do like the guidons. That's a nice touch. ...in restoring order during emergency. Especially for riots, horses are very, very uh, useful. Even just a couple of feet extra you get puts a real perspective on a crowd, allows you to anticipate movements, see movements. But I digress. We're here to make fun of these guys. I don't know that we could humiliate them any more than they do themselves, so... Alright, and square. Back to the band. All of the members of the Detroit Again, is the band practicing on duty? Are they even armed? To give you Back the to fun, the tug of war. The excitement, the thrills of field day. Hulu. Okay. And to help take care of their own. To ensure that the protection they spend their lives giving to the city of That guy's Detroit rifle angle's wrong. That guy's rifle angle was wrong. To their own family. It's yes. easy to make armed this drill like that look field. sloppy. Even if you're doing everything correctly. It takes a lot of practice. He's off step. And the detectives again. And the ladies battalion again. And the motor cops again. And the horses again. And there's precision cars. Precision motorcycles. You know, for 1955, they probably spent like $30 gas on this thing. And again, they're off-center with the crest. Fantastic. Excellent production all around. 